All right. All right, Freightliner Classic, XL132. Just picked this one up Thursday. Stopped by Freightliner, I think it was Tuesday. And uh, to get a switch for another truck. And seeing this one sitting on the back lot, so. It's got a 60 series Detroit. 13 speed double over and 373 rears so she should pull pretty good 1124s got new brakes for it looked at the rear end and uh, it was in pretty good shape didn't have any leaks or anything everything intact good airbags Brakes a little worn. Tires fairly decent for right now anyway. 150 gallon tanks. Nice looking truck though for what I paid for. I'm gonna do an in-frame on it. Really, actually I'm gonna do an outer frame. I got the rebuild kit right there. That's uh, cylinders, everything that comes with the uh, overhaul. Got everything except for the bull gear. Bull gear being Tuesday, I should have her out, cleaned up, painted, at least get the guts back in her and bull gear should be here by then. Got everything up here close to the motor so I won't have to do too much walking. Everything laid out, I'm going to try to keep it that way through the whole rebuild. Got most of the tools I need. I make. I think there's a couple of more I gotta get. Got an engine crane right there. Came in the box. I gotta put it together. Uh, I wasn't looking forward to doing that, but that's the only way I could get it. They didn't have any put together. Once she's rebuilt, we're going down with that black metallic. Cadillac black. I'm a sprayer before I put on the road, so got some extra toys there, some air tools, make everything a whole lot easier. Air sander, one inch uh, impact wrench, take my lugs off and all. But um, I think I did pretty good when I picked this one up. I didn't expect to get one this soon, but this one right here, my oldest son. I'm gonna get it ready for him. He should be ready for it in another week, so hopefully I'll have it out by Friday. Hopefully. I'm gonna sand them down good. Big pipes. Pushing out 470. I'm gonna leave it at set 470. After she put about 50,000 miles on it and put the uh, Pittsburgh diesel program on it. And it should bump her up pretty close to 700 horsepower. I hear they're getting about 8 miles to the gallon after they open them up like that. I'm going to give it a shot on this one. Let's see here. She got blow by. She got blow by. I believe it's the number one cylinder. I had one I built not too long ago. It was the number six. The rings are uh, seized up, caked up. And as I start getting by them rings, it burn that metal on on them, and they get brittle and break up, and that's where that blow by come from. Nine times out of ten on that Detroit number one or either the number six cylinder. And this one, I think, is the number one. But anyway, I think it's about 1 o'clock in the morning. And I can't sleep, so I'm going to get with it. I'll check in with y'all later.